In other news now, two children are recovering from a shooting in the park. They were among four people injured in yesterday's shooting by two suspects on a scooter. All unfolded in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge, they are live with more on the investigation and how those kids are doing. Natalie? Well, Chris, we just spoke to the mother of those two children. One of the children, the three-year-old, is home, and it really hits you when you see a child with a bandage to his leg from a gunshot wound. The other child is still in the hospital undergoing surgery. She says her kids are in pain, but they will recover, at least physically. Emotionally, it's a whole other story. And we've been speaking to people who were out here. It was an extremely large crowd when this shooting went down, and they describe the frantic moments. Diablo, mira, el niño, loco, eh? Video shows police running towards an unmarked cruiser, one holding a child in his arms who was just shot in the leg Tuesday near St. James Park. This witness saw it all happen. Everybody crazy. The police have the children they take in the car. We spoke to the child's mother who did not want her face on camera but showed us her bruised leg grazed by a bullet. Her three-year-old was also grazed in the calf. She tells us his older brother, her six-year-old son, was also shot in the leg and is still in the hospital with his father undergoing surgery. The shooting happened as the mother was walking with her kids on the sidewalk in front of the park just before 6 p.m. Tuesday. Two other men unrelated to the kids were also shot. You can see one holding a wound to his back, another limping to an ambulance. A 23-year-old was hit on the left thigh multiple times. Police say his cousin, a 25-year-old man, was also shot in the back. Surveillance shows the two people police say are behind the shooting, riding a scooter in black hoodies and face masks. Officers say one man got off the scooter and opened fire several times into a park where there were dozens of people. Video shows the crowd, many trying to help the victims. I'm very scared. You gotta be careful in this park. I bring my niece and nephew here to play. They're the same age, so it's really, it's sad and it's, it's terrifying, you know? Like, I don't feel safe in the park. Now, this morning, police posted this $1,000 reward for anybody who possesses a gun. Now, as for a motive, police believe it was gang-motivated, though they're still trying to determine exactly who those intended targets were. We're live in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Unreal. Okay, Natalie, thank you.